Hello everybody, welcome back to the 40k lowdown and today I'm going to be starting something which I'm hoping to, get, hoping to uh, put out about uh, every week on a Sunday um, and it's going to be just sort of a rambling uh, series about just things that I fancy talking about um, so the first one today is going to be about why I think uh, that the Imperial Guard Astronotarum is the best uh, faction in 40k uh, so let's just get right into it. So um, the main reason why I like them is because it's just the idea of just regular guys um, going in and winning in often cases against big like massive demons and huge monsters and like terrifying uh, like superhuman evil space marines. And I just think that uh, that idea of regular guys going up against horrors of the 45th millennium um, and winning is just really inspiring and like really helps you to build a narrative around your games and gives you a bit of a, a more human side to yeah, battles than say if you're fighting with Tyranids against Orcs or whatever or against like Space Marines because in many cases, especially on the board, um, Space Marines are just faceless, like, soldiers, they're not, you can't see them, like, I, I mean you can see them obviously, but they're like, I don't know if you know what I mean, but I don't feel like Space Marines give you the same character as a Guardsman does, you don't get the same facial expressions because they've all, all got the helmets on. Um, so another reason why uh, I really like them in the 41st Mind game is because um, this might seem a bit weird for being a futuristic game, but I think they feel like a bit primitive. Um, uh, that's probably by design because the law obviously is that the uh, monitorium, I, I don't know, what the, whoever hands out the guns and ha does the budgeting wants to make it as cheap as possible to run the billions and billions of guardsmen so they get given like not very good weapons and not very good armour and sort of tanks that look like they are from like today rather than uh, 30,000, 40,000 years in the future. Um, and I kind of like that, although some people might play a futuristic game to play with futuristic things. I think that the Imperial Guardsmen give a real sense of the grim darkness of the world because like the uh, people at the top don't really care about uh, the Guardsmen and how well they can fight, they care about cost of the war and I think that really adds to the, uh, the overall uh, like feel of the guardsmen and that the guardsmen don't actually matter to the people at the top um, and so that people may think that conflict with my idea that I really like the character of the guard and that you can look at every single face and see a person um, but I, I don't think I do because I think that like you can that the mutually exclusive because you're not being the uh, the monitorium uh, person who's in charge of budgeting for the guard, you're in charge of running them in the battle. So that's just the two main reasons why I love guard so much. Um, but then obviously you've got to think about the tabletop. Um, and I just love putting out loads and loads of guys against like something else, against like some, some tanks and stuff. I just really like it, that seeing your opponent's face when you roll out 40 guardsmen in like a, a 30 power level game and that's just that for me is just the best thing about 40k at the moment I just love throwing out guardsmen and with like with a couple of tanks to support them and I think it's just I don't know I just like having a lot of guys on the table it makes it feel more like a war so obviously like, when you're playing like space marines or something like that you don't get out that many guys in a smallish game if you're playing for like an hour or something um, or of an afternoon whereas if you're playing with a guard or something like that then you can get a lot more guys out and you can make it feel more like war and I think for me the shooting is what it's really all about and that's me I think that's the most fun bit is just like rolling loads and loads and loads of dice as your first rank fire second rank fire like 40 guardsmen into something and hoping that you can bring it down and just the feeling when your guardsmen who you know aren't very good on their own all come together 
um, to target one thing, one big thing, like even a tank and bring it down. I just that I think that's the best part about the game. Um, so those are my thoughts about why uh, Guard are the best faction in 140k. I would love to see your opinions in the comments about what your favourite faction is and why, and whether you think that my opinions on Guard are uh, reasonable. Thank you very much for watching this 40k rambling video, and I'll see you next Sunday hopefully.